Okay, uh, I'm back again and I'm going to create another solid model for chapter 7. Uh, chapter 7 and uh, tutorial, uh, tutorial 1. Okay, tutorial 1. All right, we are having fun. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's take this back again for the plane and bring them back. And then we, this time we're going to extrude on the top, okay, on the top plane. So we're going to have a top. So we go extrude, placement, and define. We're going to create, click on the top as a sketching plane. Top the um, plane as a top view as a sketching plane. So then we go with sketch view. Uh, remove the date on plane and then put a center line in here. This is, just be careful on this one because we're going to have a, a two circles, okay, with respect to this. We're going to have one circle here and another circle down below here with the same radius. And all I need to do is make it symmetric, okay? Before we do anything, we take these two and make it symmetrical with respect to the x-axis. All right, that's a key. So then the distance also between them is from there to there is supposed to be uh, 60, uh, 68, okay? All right, 68, enter. Then we're gonna create, uh, maybe we're gonna put a radius in here and that radius is 18, 18. We'll just work from outside, okay? Don't worry about the uh, circle inside or the hole inside, so and uh, there we go and we can have now so we have two radii with 18 18 or two semicircle and now i have all the freedom to do the next part called rectangle so i'm going to create two rectangular shape make sure you pass it through the circle okay you pass through the circle and now we know that this is symmetrical so we are in good shape and we know that the distance the distance from this uh, the center of this circle to here should be 65 okay okay 65 let's see if it's gonna work 65 okay all right great so i'm going to trim i'm going to trim this piece this piece this piece that piece that piece okay so let's just go there and then this one this one this one okay so we have the rectangle and then we're going to have another rectangle and this height should be 48 so this uh, height should be 48 48 okay beautiful so we're going to have another rectangle okay another rectangle i don't know whether they are in the same no it's a little bit lower okay so it's lower so um, oops, I think it's not easy to work with the, with the mouse. Okay, so let's see. Uh, this is, so I have the symmetric, vertical symmetric, that's important. And then this height here should be uh, 36. Okay, wonderful. So that should be 36. Enter. Okay. And then we have a we have a um, let me see i need to remove i need to remove a piece here and then this piece here and then this circle there oops 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 oops, oops. undo i didn't mean to do that so let me see if i can make this line a little bit goes through here all right so great so i can trim now is easy to trim and uh, let's see uh, let's leave it there for time being okay and i need to create a fillet okay a fillet radius so let me see if i can use the fillet radius of uh, uh let's see fillet the circular trim fillet so we put it on here and there and that should be the dimension is nine okay and nine okay so oops so let me just trim maybe this piece here okay and that should be 
9 okay 9 okay beautiful so that's 9 and we can do the same thing on between this line and this curve and then we make it equal okay so we can just delete this and make it equal so we can have this one here okay uh, oops oops so we go equal we say this uh, fillet is equal to that fillet okay so there we go then we have what else do we have we wanted to put the, uh, that fillet there okay so um, let me see if I need to trim a little bit okay let me see trim this piece trim that piece but we need to put a fillet in here okay so I'm gonna go fill it this and that and that should be a radius of 15 okay so we're gonna make that a radius uh, 15 okay so that is 15 enter okay great do the same thing uh, on this side uh, put the fillet between this curve and that curve and that should be the same same radius so we go equal this is equal to that okay perfect okay so there there we go now we have to do a little bit of cosmetic work so this is uh, this is 36 and this is this is 68 this is 36 okay 36 and then the total dimension do we have that 108 108 okay from this line to this line should be uh, 108 108 okay 108 and then we have a is this line coinciding with that no they're not they're not on the same line okay they're not uh, what else do we need to know here uh, 60 65 108 uh, we have a bunch of uh, and then we need I need to make this symmetric okay I need to make this corner and this corner symmetrical okay that got rid of the all the problems okay my friend the symmetric is the power okay is the power so let me create the two circles one in here is it the same same size yeah mm -hmm. same size and then this one also the same size and what's the size of this it's 16 okay 16 uh, 16 enter and look at, uh, let's look around everything is tangent see that tangent 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 this fillet and this fillet they have the same uh, values radius of 15 and this is 9 this is 48 height this is 36 and so on okay i think we are done we're done we're gonna just go extrude check and then the thickness is uh, 9 right the, th the thickness is 9 all right so that's the depth and then if i just uh, okay so that's what we have there we go next i'm going to create a, a wall or how should i say i'm going to create a feature on this side here then we're going to copy it okay so we go extrude placement define on this face here the sketch sketch view okay i need to convert that to no hidden i'm going to put a uh, reference line so that's a reference line in here here solve close so we're going to create a rectangle and that rectangle is going to have a what's the height of this rectangle is uh, the height is going to be the total height is uh, 30 right so the distance from the base uh, from the base to the top is going to be uh, 30 okay so it's in the book and then we're going to create an arc Okay, we're going to create an arc uh, from here to there and that should be um, let me see if I can 
remove or trim this line in the middle okay let me just dimension it one more time from the center to the base that's supposed to be 30 okay okay let me just do this and that is oops it's flying away and now there is a little zero zero there okay i'm going to tell you how to fix that so uh, let me see if i can now and okay so we'll go back to sketch sketch view see there is no tangent so we're going to go to tangent so as soon as you click tangent see that the little things appear they disappear okay so and uh, and that is that number 30 and this is the radius of i believe it is 18 so uh, we know that that is 18 okay so we know it's 18 so we go check and uh, let me take the shading back and then we're gonna just look at this and go this way and uh, let me just go placement edit because i forgot something i forgot to add the circle okay so what's the size of the circle and that size is uh, 16 okay 16 excellent so 16 and then we can just say check again and now and this depth is nine correct is a nine yes okay great now we need to copy this to this edge in uh, creo parametric 2.0 there was a lengthy procedure to copy that but that since we're going to use the same copying as like a uh, on a windows okay cut and paste or copy and paste so we can click on that and then we go to copy let's see where is the copy somewhere here and it says the uh, there's a symbol for copy uh, or I will say uh, model uh, every every version is a little bit different okay so there should be uh, if I go to model it says copy you see that there yeah? it says copy and then I'm going to come here and then we're going to paste it okay let me turn the plane back on and we're going to paste it to uh, or this edge here okay let's one more time we're going to do this okay one more time so i need to figure out this here okay because we need to copy this okay copy and then where you want to copy it i'm going to copy it and paste it where placement define okay we're gonna paste it i'm gonna just put it there temporarily let me just do this and then i'm gonna put a project line okay or project okay it's good to have that then all i have to do is say coincide i'm going to get that coincident i'm gonna this corner coincide with that corner I think we are a little bit off, right? I didn't go to the end of it. So let me just back up a little bit. And then I'm going to, because this is where we wanted this to be. If we say coincident, this corner. Okay, that's better. And then the height should be, uh, what was the height there? It was the total, is it 30 from there or? and that is 30 minus 9 so 21 cry right? so that's 21 plus plus no, this is 9 or 10 what was that the thickness was 10 9, nine. nine. so that is 20 that's a 30 right so that's that's good so let me trim and this piece here okay and then we can just uh, uh say that now we have this is position there and this is 18 let me just maybe uh, do that that should be what that is the 18 18 okay 18 okay beautiful so now we're gonna just extrude that okay we go to sketch and then we're gonna extrude that 
and the extrusion should be in opposite direction and that's about nine right that's nine see that here so let me just show you that that's nine and then we check so in order to finish this we're going to turn the plane uh, or let me see if i have the display plane and that display plane is in the middle yeah we have that in the middle okay so we go to mirror and then i'm going to click on that plane and say check so i have the same thing on the other side okay nicely done anything else that's it i think i'm done okay have fun and i'll see you soon again all right bye and um,